Hello Year 6, welcome to your literacy video for Friday. So we're in our new book still aren't we? So we're in the train book, most of you. Um, and then if you haven't got this book don't worry I'll come on to yours in a second. Okay, so we're on page 4 and it's an astronaut's guide to life on Earth. So it says Chris Hadfield is a Canadian astronaut. He was the first Canadian to walk in space and once commanded the International Space Station. Chris first went into space in 1995 on the space shuttle Atlantis. In this extract from his memoir, Chris describes his first takeoff. Ooh, that should be a nice interesting read for you. Um, and then down the bottom we've got our glossary which we're quite familiar with now aren't we? So we've got condemned which is about to be punished and joviality which is cheerfulness. So being happy. Okay, let's have a look at some of the questions together then. So number one says, what do you think the word intensifies in line three means? And then it says, check your answer in a dictionary. So it's not asking you to use a dictionary to find the answer. It's asking you to write what you think first, but then check you write in a dictionary. So make sure you go and find it. So... It's here, so it says, the feeling intensifies at breakfast when reporters jostle each other to get a good photo as though I'm a condemned man and this is my last meal. So, do you feel, think that feeling's getting worse, getting better? Have a think what you think that sentence means, write it in and then see if you can see, use a dictionary. You can go on dictionary.com and see if you were right or not. Question two then, it says, why do you think Chris put the words, I am actually leaving the planet today in line 10 on a separate line? So he's done the first paragraph and then he's left that bit separate. Why do you think that is? Why do you think he's done that? Have a think. Have a think what, read again what he's actually said. Think why, why would he put that on a different line? Um, number three says, are you surprised that Chris says, I can't imagine any place, any place else I'd rather be. 19 to 20, explain your answer. So, read what ha his description of what it's like, and then, does that sound like a place you'd want to be? Probably not, so you could probably say, yes, I am surprised, because, and you could say something like, it doesn't sound very comfortable or very nice but then remember this is a two mark question so and you've got three lines there so try and use some evidence so you could say um he says he's not it says i'm not exactly comfortable so it doesn't sound like it's a very nice place to be so that supports your answer okay question four says write down the three verbs that Chris uses to describe the movement of the spacecraft in line 22. So go to find line 22. And remember, verbs are doing words, action words. Okay. Um, so you've, it's in this line. Force bends the vehicle, which lurches sideways, then twangs back to vertical. So it's not really words that you would use very often. You have a look, see if you can find three verbs in that sentence. Um, and why do you think he chooses to use those verbs is B. So they're not normal verbs, are they? They're quite effective ones. So have a think, why does he use those ones and not boring ones? Uh, number five, explain the effect that the last two sentences of this text have on the reader. So have a read of the last two. Have a think, what effect has it had on you? What does it make you think of? How does it make you feel? And then that might help you to answer that last question. Okay. If you have got the monkey book, some of you have got this one. I know some of you are working through this one. Your next text really should be page 11, Tim's diary. But if you're just working through it, then that's fine. Just make sure you email me if you've got any questions. So Tim's diary then. So you've got a short diary entry at the top. And then you've got some questions to answer on it at the bottom. So number one says, how do you think Tim felt when he couldn't have a picnic outside? Tick two options. So do you think he was happy, sad, disappointed or excited? But it's not asking you to have a guess. 
it's it wants you to use the text so make sure you read the text first and use that to help you figure out how he was feeling number two says copy a word from the text that means the same as tasty so go through have a look see if you can find a word that means the same the word taste we don't want the word tasty we want one that means the same as tasty and then the bottom one what do you think tim did after writing in his diary how can you tell so on the bottom the bottom line i've got a bit of a clue for you here it says now i am tired i will write to you again tomorrow so if he's tired what do you think he might have done next and you can say that say that you know that because it says he is tired okay so that's your reading for today word power work for today then we're still on building up words and we're on page 17 today um, and we're carrying on with this so looking at breaking up words and looking at the suffixes and prefixes remember if you haven't got word power don't worry you can switch the video off now and you can do your handwriting or practice your spellings instead okay let's have a look then so page 17 it says some words are amazingly long anti dish establish meant arian ism i didn't even know that was a word anti establish mentarianism oh my goodness that's a long word the long one of the longest words in the dictionary so here's a list of prefixes roots and suffixes have a go at creating some really long words but make sure it means something even if it's daft so you've got to have a go have a bit of fun at making up your own words so start with a pre prefix you could maybe start with two prefixes put a root word in the middle and then come up with um you could put two suffixes on the end but then you've got to write what your word is your favorite word and then come up with the meaning for it okay and um, so obviously you're making it up so you can just have a go at that one um and then the bottom underneath that you've got to write your word in a sentence there's a little bit of a challenge there for you and then the bottom one says is there any limit to how long words can be i would say no i don't think there is um and you could explain that no because you can keep adding prefixes and suffixes can't you and then the bottom one says explain how new words can be created from prefixes and suffixes so you can use what you've learned there to answer that one at the end okay so good luck with your literacy work for today make sure you email me if you've got any questions or if you're confused about which work you should be doing um as long as you're having a go we don't mind um, please don't forget to send me some pictures of your work. I love seeing what you've been up to. Have a good weekend and I will see you all on Monday.